As it turns out, I'm just too idealistic. Much to my detriment. I wish that I could turn it off. Or at the very least, turn it down. But I do the opposite. I turn it all the way up. And I'm so idealistic that it borders on masochistic. Cause ain't nobody gonna do nothing but disappoint me. And I wish that people thought better of themselves than to fight for the scraps. But that's the way it has got to be, I guess. Because people don't understand that they could be better. They don't see the potential. Nor do they want to. Because if they saw potential, that means that they'd have to work. And in case you haven't realized this, everybody is a socialist, regardless of their politics. Why would you want to work? Why would you have to work? Why would you care to work? When you could just go get it from the government or from a psychiatrist or a media personnel or some kind of specialist, why would you bother working for it? <laughs> well that didn't really work out did it that's okay that's like life huh that's like a failed relationship <laughs> we got to the tippy top and then we had to stop because there wasn't any further we could go and I feel that way about society I'm just waiting for them to realize this all these things that I already know If I try to explain it to them They won't listen, they never listen anyway So just wait, just wait, just wait They have to figure it on their own or it doesn't mean anything Cause what you discover all along It has merit Rather than if somebody just told you. And people don't believe in reading. And they don't believe in thinking. They just want reality TV. I like that. I liked it before I fucked it up. <laughs> obsessed with perfection well maybe I am but just not enough to do anything different <laughs> maybe that's why I do comedy because comedy allows me the luxury of being able to fuck it up and when you fuck it up you gotta make it work that proves how good you are that proves All the things that you never thought you had inside of you All the things that you never thought were possible Until this exact moment And I realize 
that the reason why I'm good at this Cause I've always been in the moment Cause I'm thinking about the past And I'm thinking about the future And I'm going in and out, in and out In and out, in and out, in and out It's like I'm always dreaming or something And it doesn't make sense to your average person but I'm utterly convinced that your average person never thinks about any motherfucking thing. And maybe I generalize too often. You tell me in the comment section. <laughs> they never do. I think they're afraid of me. Or maybe they just turn me off and tune me out and go on to the next thing maybe i should be grateful for that than them trying to cancel me even though there's really nothing to cancel over here you know people in the nashville comedy scene have bitched about me on social media but since they don't know about my social media and they use different social media all the time because they're cyborgs it's like, what they said about me had no effect on me, because I wasn't on their little platform, and I didn't pay attention to their soapbox, but I knew that they were on it, you know? Everybody's got a soapbox on the internet, right? Right? That's what it is! The internet has been a beautiful thing for the select few of us. Okay? Like 500 people benefited from the internet. Everybody else is going to hell. <laughs> so, you know, I was thinking about this uh, tonight. I was, I was talking to my mom about it. How, like, I've said this before. It's like it made things worse, but it just basically exposed people for what they truly are. You know, lazy, pathetic, overly sensitive, confrontational, dramatic, you know? It's not like it's proven, proven how good people are. Like, if, if there are good people in the world, that's proven by their actions. I mean, it's very rare that I see a tweet that's, like, so compassionate, you know? I think, I, I think I've seen one tweet in all the time that I've ever looked at Twitter. I saw one tweet that, like, made me cry because it was like, wow, this person has empathy. I didn't know that anybody on Twitter had empathy. But, once again, I'm generalizing, and that's not fair to society. You know, because there are plenty of smart people that use the internet... And there are plenty of smart people that have a government tracking device on their person that they actually use in a positive way. And there are plenty of people that have social networking uh, profiles or whatever the fuck, and they, they do positive things with that, okay? But we know the ratio... We know that there are profoundly more people that abuse it, unfortunately. But this is the world now, you know? This is the world. Isn't it so much fun? Memes and selfies and posts and memes. <laughs> Pictures with captions. So creative. It's like, how could people not see what's happening? Like, they're, they're dumbing people down in so many ways. Especially, I think it's obvious with, like, the emojis. I was calling them images for the longest time. Emojis, okay? Emojis. It's like hieroglyphics. They're turning us into little children. I mean, you could kind of tell by politics that that was what was happening, you know? But with, with the stuff on the internet, it's blatantly obvious. But then, of course, with all the COVID measures that they took, you know, like, 
totally, like, dehumanizing. Especially with the masks. Like, psychologically, it's dehumanizing. And, uh... It's crazy, though, that people can't see it. Like, they can't understand how... like, psychologically destructive it is because they don't know anything about psychology and they don't know anything about how the elite operate, you know, the subtleties and the, uh... It's, it's funny how, how it's, some of it's subtle and some of it's just obvious. Like, it's so in your face, you know? That it's just so exasperating that that people just they're so brainwashed that they just go right along with it you know but it's like there ain't shit you can do about it you know like my parents are are just watching reality tv all the time dude like i just left their house they're they're watching reality tv that's all about people buying shit at auctions and selling it and finding out how much it's worth and shit like that. Like, there's a reality show about that. You know? It's like... The fact that they call it reality TV, like, that, that should tell you something. That should be obvious. Okay, my battery's about to go out, but... We completed our goal, you guys. Shooting videos till the battery runs out, so... Yay!